I made another will for us to try out today. <laughs> so this will is called the Sims will. It's composed of different themes or symbols or just things that represent the Sims as a whole. So I have flamingos, plumbots, simbots. We have llamas and Belagoth, the Grim Reaper. So there's like a whole bunch of like Sim things on this will. Essentially, I just have to spin it and whatever it gives me, I have to build something surrounding that theme. Hopefully we get something good. <laughs> so why don't we just go ahead and spin i'm not gonna spin the other wheel for the colors this is just gonna be it today please let it be something good what we're we gonna get grilled cheese we have to build something that is inspired by grilled cheese <laughs> okay i think that's doable so i think i'm gonna build this in sunset valley and i think i'm gonna have a grilled cheese restaurant i was thinking that we could build a lot maybe like in the center of the world or by the center and i know that we have the hogan's deep fright diner lot but like if i'm gonna build a grilled cheese restaurant or like a diner i feel like it could probably just go here you know so I think I'm just gonna delete this you know we don't really need it we're gonna be building a grilled cheese restaurant like that's gonna be better you know okay so I think I'm just gonna start by building my diagonal wall out maybe like so and now that we have the diagonal wall I'm just gonna go ahead and like fill in the rest so we're gonna just go ahead and just drag it out like this oh this might not be like a perfect triangle but it'll be okay I think we'll do something like this for the entryway that way we'll have some space for chairs and stuff and like outdoor sitting but we also have like a pretty big indoors area too I'm gonna go ahead and get my roof tool we're gonna fill this in i think i might want to use a couple of these half walls and we're just gonna circle this in like so and then i think i want to get a couple of columns out in the front we could use these this one is the heavenly bells slanted column i think these are from lucky palms but i'm just going to bring them out in front of the building like this and then now i'm just going to trace this little area in with the roof tool just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting i guess we can paint this yellow to make it look like cheese is coming out from the grilled cheese or something like that i'm trying to be creative here okay <laughs> okay i think i'm gonna also move a couple of these columns out kind of like this so they can look a little bit more interesting i want to make sure that i get a couple of doors maybe like right here it's kind of sometimes hard to use diagonals when you build in the sims you know but i'm gonna try to make this work i want to get like a nice entry door honestly this one kind of gives off grilled cheese vibes so i guess we could use that one <laughs> i mean honestly a whole entire build inspired by grilled cheese is kind of interesting when you think about it right I'm trying to figure out what wallpaper I want to use for the build. We could go for like wood. Maybe siding would be better and we could just like color it yellow. Ooh, or we could use this wallpaper. This is from the Showtime pack and I maybe could make this yellow. We could kind of go for a yellow that's this color. I could make this top part brown to kind of make it look more grilled cheese-esque like i don't know y'all i'm really trying with this one <laughs> and then what i could do is like make the bottom of this just brown on the inside so it can be like the top layer i literally have no idea how to landscape this maybe we could use a couple of these shrubs in front of it i don't know if this is gonna look good or not but <laughs> I don't really even know how to furnish a grilled cheese build like how do you do that I might put another door over here just to be like a secondary entrance area why don't we just open up the build for a second because I need to like figure out where things are gonna go like I was saying I want this to be a diner but I want this to also be functional so I was thinking we could use some store content but like I don't really know what I want to do for the floor you think we should go for an all yellow floor like this <laughs> I'm gonna use these windows from the into the future pack I think these would work perfectly for a build like this. So I think we could have this wall be like the kitchen area and maybe we could draw like a wall here for like a bathroom. It's just gonna be like the smallest bathroom. <laughs> I guess the rest of it can just be like open seating and stuff like that. We need to also pick a wallpaper too. Ooh, you think we should go for a wallpaper like this? <laughs> if not, we could definitely use it for like the kitchen and the bathroom, but like, I don't know, I kind of like this wallpaper. I mean, we could always go for yellow, but like that might be a little bit too much yellow. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna make that yellow swatch into this brown swatch. I think this just looks so cool and it kind of gives off like a restaurant kind of vibe, you know? So what I was thinking I could do is try to get like a door, maybe like on the side, of this room maybe like this also we do need to put like the bathroom doors I, I i guess we could just put both of them you think i should have like two of them be here i don't know if that's doing too much or not and then we could if we wanted to have like a counter space or something right here to be like the front register i could just get like two of these and just put them like here oh my gosh yeah, i think we should put like wall speakers in here just because <laughs> i think we'll put like two i'm gonna use the food register and put it right here we could get two 
but I feel like maybe one would just be best. I was thinking we could honestly use these diner tables. Okay, I, I think we're gonna have the tables look something like this. They kind of look like they are grilled cheese in a way. Like, I mean, it's a grilled cheese restaurant. Like, what else would you do? I could try to put a couple of these outside as well. I think these are the matching chairs to go with them. We could try to have some of the chairs be yellow while the other ones are brown. And then we'll just copy like some of the same designs on them. I don't know how I feel about this table, y'all. Like... <laughs> I'm still trying to like it, but I don't know. But at least you can definitely tell this is a grilled cheese inspired build, right? I'm going to also get a couple of these debug lights just to kind of place around the lot. These just kind of help make the lot a little bit brighter. I don't want to forget the menus either because without these, your Sims can't really place orders. Y'all, we have got to use this. <laughs> it's literally a grilled cheese painting. I think this might be one of the only ones in the entire game. I mean, I think it just looks a little bit too fancy for a build like this, but... I mean, this is like the best we have. I might use it twice. We could try to squeeze one over here though. I almost forgot to recolor the wall speakers. I want these to definitely blend in. I also have to figure out how this bathroom is going to work. We could use all-in-one bathrooms or we could use these bathroom stalls, but I don't know if we'll have enough room. We could put a couple bathroom stalls. I just don't know if a sim can reach this other one on the other side or not. I'm going to have to play test that to see. I'm going to use this pedestal sink from the base game. And then I'm going to try to squeeze in a mirror of some sort. Or honestly, I could just take this stall away and just put this here. I mean, it'll be like a smaller bathroom. It'll have one less option but i think that might be for the best and then i think what i'm gonna do is just copy this design over to the bathroom stall just so everything can kind of match a little bit more i want to change the wallpaper in the floor in the kitchen to kind of make it stand out a little bit more so i think i'm just gonna make it a little bit like this next up i'm gonna make sure i have enough space for one of these ovens you need this oven for these menus to work i want to also get like a normal fridge i'm gonna use these countertops and then i'm gonna also like put these maybe around like that and then i'm just gonna copy this design over on them. Well, you know what? We could try to squeeze in a couple sinks in here just because. Just to have like some extra stuff. I want to also get a couple of pots and pans in here. We could put like a little fire alarm just because. So I forgot to put the little salt and pepper dispensers out. We definitely have got to do that. I just feel like doing stuff like this makes the build look more cluttered and more realistic. Is this like the only menu that we have in the game? Because I wanted to put a menu back here on this wall, but I think this is the only one I want to say. If there's another one, maybe I just don't own it. Oh, okay. Well, I guess this is just gonna have to work i'm gonna also put a coffee machine in here just in case your sims would like to drink something oh you know what we could also get like a calendar in here oh and you know what we could also get a bulletin board to go like right here just so like the sims can keep up with like what shift people have to work yeah we'll just put that right there but i think that's like everything that i want to do for the inside of the building i'm gonna also move these dumpsters back beside the building maybe we can just have this one right here oh and i also gotta put the parking spaces back <laughs> i deleted them because i didn't know if we were gonna have enough space for them but we can definitely put those back. I want to also get a couple bike racks. So I'm going to get like maybe two of these on this side. Maybe honestly three. We'll get three bike racks. We could probably put some out here too. I'm going to also use this bamboo fence just to kind of fence in the area a little bit. I'm going to probably have to move some of these columns though. Maybe I could recolor these picnic tables to be a little bit darker. But I think on that note, I'm pretty much done with the entire build. So let's just get a good look at it before we leave. So on the inside, we have plenty of tables. <laughs> we also have a register. We have our little menu. We also have our bathroom over here in the corner. Moving on over this way, we have our kitchen. And then when you come back outside, we have a couple more tables out here so your Sims can eat. But that's pretty much it for the entire build. I am really pleased with how this turned out. I didn't think that I was going to be making a grilled cheese inspired build today, but I'm kind of glad I did because this looks really nice. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like comment something down below follow me over on twitch where i stream a lot more of the sims and i'll see you in the next video bye thanks for watching